I'm Stephanie Rule, live from the nation's capital, where tomorrow the January 6th committee has its third public hearing starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. And this time, investigators are expected to focus on then-Vice President Mike Pence and the pressure campaign to get him to keep Joe Biden out of the White House. Committee aides say new evidence presented tomorrow will show how the efforts of his former boss, Donald Trump, led, the ri led to the riot and put Pence's life in serious danger. You'll remember the surveillance video of security rushing Pence off the Senate floor as rioters chanted, hang Mike Pence. And ABC News has obtained new photos of the former vice president and his family in hiding after the mob broke into the Capitol. Tomorrow, we expect to hear from key Pence advisors, his former counsel, Greg Jacob, and retired federal judge, Michael Ludig. There are reports the closed-door testimony from Mark Short, Pence's one-time chief of staff, will also be included. Earlier tonight, Short talked about Trump's actions that led to the riot. I've shared uh, that I think that the president was poorly advised by a lot of the people that were around him at that time. I think ultimately the buck stops with the president. He has responsibility to listen to advice or discard advice. As the House committee holds these hearings, the investigation continues. The Washington Post reporting on a new revelation about Ginny Thomas. She, of course, is the wife of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. The paper says the panel now has emails between Ginny Thomas herself and lawyer John Eastman, who once clerked for Clarence Thomas and who played a very big part in Trump's plot to stay in power. The committee is also intensifying its focus on Republican Congressman Barry Loudermilk. Let's say his name again. Barry Loudermilk. Do not forget it. This guy gave a tour of the COVID-closed Capitol complex the day before the insurrection. Today, the committee sent the Georgia lawmaker another letter asking him to come answer some questions about that tour. The panel also released security footage that appears to show Loudermilk, again, himself hosting the tour as people are taking pictures of stairwells, security checkpoints, even the Capitol tunnel system. Not what you would call a usual tourist attraction. The 1-6 committee says one man seen taking pictures is the very same guy heard making threats from behind the camera on January 6th. This is our fearless leader. Hey, baby. There baby him. Check out my flag I made, guys. You see it? There you go, baby. <laughs> That's for a certain person. That's right. That's for somebody, somebody special. Somebody special. There's no escape, Pelosi. Schumer. Nadler, we're coming for you. We're coming in like white on rice for Pelosi, Nadler, <laughs> Schumer, even you, AOC. We're coming to take you out. We'll pull you out by your hairs. How about that, Pelosi? Again, not exactly a regular tourist. Late today, the congressman responded to questions about that very video. Do you know who that man was in the video? I, I don't know him. I've never met him before. But he was on that tour with you. I don't know. I never saw the guy on the video. In the video, the, it clearly shows an individual taking photos of a security checkpoint in the uh, basement that no, leads actually, to the Capitol. <laughs> what they were taking a picture of is I took the family and, of course, the other folks are with them, have two young kids that wanted to see the little trains that, that take congressmen. So I took them to show them where the, the, the trolley was in the, uh, the Raven Tunnel. But why do you think pictures were being taken of a stairwell around security? If you go to that stairwell, there's a Golden Eagle sconce that's on the wall. That's what I was taking a picture of. I mean, these are folks who had never been to Washington, D.C. And so why excited. not just speak to the committee and just... Because the committee's never called me and asked me anything. They sent they a letter asking for your to who? cooperation. They never sent it to me. Oh, like, let's fact check that. For the record, the committee says it did send the congressman that very letter. Meanwhile, Steve Bannon, who has refused to talk to the committee and who was indicted on contempt of Congress charges, was back in court today. And he had this to say after his request to have his case dismissed was denied by a federal judge. 
I look forward to having Nancy Pelosi and little Jamie Raskin and Shifty Shift in here at trial answering questions under my under the Mr. Uh, tough, Mr. tough thing about my uh, my uh, lawyers. The new house is going to have a real investigation. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Oh, really? Well, Bannon's trial starts on July 18th.